All right, so if you have Claude Desktop installed and you wanted to uh, add MCP servers to it, you know that it's kind of not ready for prime time, right? Let's just go with that. You have to go into the settings, you go to file or Claude settings, um, and then uh, you have to go to developer. And then right here, it says MCP is a protocol that enables secure connections, yada, yada, yada. And then to get started, you have to actually Go in here and edit a, a text file. You know, that's a, a JSON config file, you know, and it's not very user friendly. So um, it's kind of, it makes it a little bit harder to get started with MCP servers in Cloud Desktop. Well, Docker took it upon themselves to make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go ahead and show how to set that up. First, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close Cloud. And if you don't have Cloud Desktop installed, you'll of course want to go install that. It's at cloud.ai uh, slash download. And it's just a desktop app, app like any other. If you don't have Docker installed, you'll want to go to docker.com and download Docker Desktop and install that as well. Docker Desktop will let you run containers or small isolated programs on your computer and you kind of need it for this example. So, um, I have Claude and um, Docker both installed, so I'm just gonna open up Docker and go to my dashboard here. And if you go into the extensions area, actually, they've actually moved it up. Um, normally you have to go into the extensions area and look for uh, MCP toolkit, right? But it looks like they've added it to the sidebar now, so that's even cooler. So you go ahead and either click it one way or the other and um, click on add MCP servers and this will show you a list of different MCP servers you can use. Uh, but first we have to tell it to use Docker, to allow Docker to use this. So you go over to the client section and you should see Claude Desktop listed there. If you hit connect, it will go ahead and edit that JSON file for you. And then we can go back to the catalog, um, look at the different servers. And for instance, uh, there's a Wikipedia one here that I'm just gonna go ahead and add here. So I'll just click on this add server. So now Wikipedia is installed. You can see it has nine different tools. That means that there's nine different things that Claude could do with uh, Wikipedia. So now we have this up and running, we're good to go. We can go back to um, Claude desktop. And here we go. So now if we click on this section here, uh, we should see, there it is, it just took a second. Um, but you saw when I click here, it says MCP Docker. And if you click on that, you can see all of the different Wikipedia tools, the nine tools that uh, Wikipedia allows us to use. And you can you know, say, I don't, want to, I don't want it to use Get Article or whatever. Um, so for instance, I can say like, you know, um, get the wiki on the CWS, which is the College World Series, which happens here in Nebraska. So what it's gonna do now is it's going to understand what I'm saying and see it's going to use that MCP server and pull up an article on the College World Series. Okay, so I'm going to give it a more specific, it doesn't seem to understand what I mean by CWS. It could mean a lot of things. Um, so I'm just going to specify, get the wiki for the college world. That's not how you spell college. College world series. And now it should know what I'm talking about. So you can see it's doing a request to Wikipedia using the MCP server for the College World Series. Now it's doing the get article to pull that information in. Um, and that's how easy it is. If you, the only catch is if you add more, um, if you enable more servers here, like say I add, um, I don't know, uh, any of these, Notion, let's go with Notion. Um, Notion requires configuration. That one requires a username and password. So let's pick something else. Anyways, the point is if I make a change here, um, it's not, 
it's not going to be reflected here immediately. So if I go to tools and MCP Docker, you see none of the none of that curl stuff that I just enabled is on. You have to actually exit out of Claude. Um, and then when you come back into it, it should see the difference or see the change. Takes a second there. So see now we've gone from nine things to 10 and there's that curl that we just added. So that's how easy it is to add MCP servers to Claude Desktop now using Docker Desktop. So uh, I thought I'd share that because you know it's one of those headaches that comes with Claude Desktop. It's not it's not user friendly, not ready for prime time yet. But you know, luckily companies like Docker are stepping in to try and make it easier and you know validate these MCP servers so that they're not like malware and stuff like that, um, not malicious. So um, yeah, if you found this helpful, please uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff as usual. Thanks. Bye.